Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? Hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tackling hey, Squad Gang Gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feel? It's your girl. <laughs> Essence of Shade in the building. How are ya? I am good. I am good. I am blessed. I am happy. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. These are 10 reasons why your starter locks or your short, yeah, your starter locks are thinning. Because low key, high key, it shouldn't even be thinning. And low key, high key, mines have been thinning. But these are the reasons why. And let's get right into it. Numero uno is you're picking out lint with uh, tweezers. Yes, you can get lint into your starter locks. I, you see, I have carpet and I work out at home majority of the time. And if I do not cover my hair, lint can go in your hair. Also, lint can go in your hair just by walking outside mother nature. So a lot of times people feel like what they need to do is just take a tweezers and kind of like, dip out their stuff when in actuality you just need a brush to cover your hair and to keep it moving numero dos is we are already bleaching we're bleaching i don't care what stage of hair when i have bleaching yo we use that to clean our toilets yo we use that to clean our toilets like for real like hard bleach like what no sis number three is retwisting your hair too often you guys know that i'm a huge advocate of this and i understand it's a little hard especially with starter locks where your hair is looking crazy sorry i'm being nosy because the window's right here but um i know a lot of times it could be hard to just walk around with the free with your hair looking free but sometimes that really help not sometimes Oftentimes that really helps your hair uh, just to let it free and just do its thing. If you're continually manipulating it, like you're confining it to get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier, just leave your hair alone, let it do what it do, and keep it pushing. Number four is not washing your locks enough. I know a lot of locticians are out there and people on YouTube and maybe I have in the past given wrong information. I feel like I haven't on this topic, but a lot of people are out here telling you not to wash your hair, like wait six weeks before you wash your hair, especially in the beginning or when you're starting locks, don't wash it as often. Wash on your hair, wash it. Because how is it supposed to like flourish when the 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 pores or the whatever is clogged up with the dirt from that month or whatever, and like whatever is going through your lock? <clears throat> so just wash your hair, wash your hair, wash your hair. Number five, I would say, is the age of locks. I do I do remember how my locks started my lasset is not how it ended. And that also has to do with the maturity of locks. Sometimes as it grows, it stretches out and it doesn't maintain the thickness or whatnot. Some people actually can get away with it. I know a few people who were locks have been thick from the beginning, but oftentimes they do thin over time. Not thin that they're like falling off, but they do get smaller a little bit. Number six, and I can say this about myself, is coloring your locks. And I think this has a lot, this has a lot of components. One is you're coloring your hair too often. Two is when you actually color your hair, you're not taking care of it. You're just treating it like how you did before you colored your hair. And three, you colored it wrong. Like my last set, like I said, I've learned a lot of things, but my last set, I remember I used to like in the beginning, I used to color my hair and thought that I washed it all out, but in actuality I didn't. And with that, it was like, like eating away at my locks from the center. So pros and cons with coloring your hair, a con is that it can 
damage it and make it super thin and possibly fall the heck out like you'll wake up one day in your pillow and like you have a lock on your pillow and you're like oh my god i can't tell nobody this because how you gonna tell somebody that story keep it real number eight number eight is covering your hair at night um my boyfriend does this a lot and it's aggravated to no end it's like just cover your hair just cover your hair is not that literally you sit on a couch that is like cotton or some kind of sort of fiber that pulls out you lay on your bed and it's not on a satin uh pillowcase or whatever it is that's pulling out moisture you go in your car and you rub your hair on your your chair pulling out moisture take your put on your shirt pulling out moisture there are all kind of things that could set you up for failure the one thing that you can do is at night when you're going to bed just cover your hair whether you have i feel like whether you have a set of pillowcase or not just cover your hair and then also i can say too like when you're spraying your hair at night i would suggest to let it like dry uh completely if it could before you put um the cap on because i feel like that can cause like mildew and stuff like that over time but that's just like an extra number seven is when you're washing your hair you know like how you tend to wash your hair like a uh um like in the caribbean when you like wash your clothes and you like wring it out and to hang it on the um the little thing in the backyard the little cord we tend to do that with our hair too like ring like but that's tension you know what i'm saying like you ain't gotta be that hard just nice soft not like it's your hair like take it easy lot number nine is styling your hair way too often i feel like some people i used to do this back in the day like every two weeks i would get my hair done like a style like something because i'm not about to be out here looking like who shot john but like honey now i like my hair in the um thick stage in the looking untamed a little bit i just think it looks good i think it's a step up that man is nosy all in my window but i'm nosy too because i'm looking like what nah but um yeah uh shall here too often there's loads of videos out there even on my channel it's not conducive to the health of your locks you don't need to style your hair so often if anything keep your hair in the style um but then give your hair a chance to just like breathe and not be so um restrictive all the time and last and finally not least is how you started your locks is the foundation of how you started your locks uh it could be your parting it could be um whatever it is you didn't condition and take care of your hair before whatever it is the foundation of your locks can determine the health of your locks in the long run kind of because you can switch that up if you catch it on time but um as say for instance a person like me who starts their locks by themselves, i may have not parted the beginning in the beginning well but if i catch it i'm still a low-key starter locks um, but if I catch it, I can possibly combine some stuff or possibly comb it out and start it over, whatever it is. But that can help in the thinning and the breakage of your locks. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and <laughs> subscribe to your girl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other tips or tricks as to why one's starter locks might be thinning or breaking leave it in the comment box below and i will see y'all in the next video see you later tiger lilies too. Uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the